Welcome back to MoverProfessional.com. So this is going to be the second video in a series that I'm doing on single apparatus mobility work. All right, so the apparatus we're going to use today is the Battlestar. Uh, it's a form of a foam roller, except it's obviously not foam. Um, and the thing that's unique about this is that it's on a spindle here, so which makes it uh, easier to be directional in your force. Uh, so as we go through some of this, these movements, I'll show you what I mean by that. Um, and so you can really kind of go, you know, from either top to bottom or bottom to top, as opposed to just rolling around aimlessly. All right, so you can use this almost exactly like you use a foam roller, with some exceptions. I wouldn't necessarily, I don't like using it for the uh, over the spine as much, um, you know, but I'll use it for the uh, bigger soft tissue areas. So uh, we're gonna do the front of the thigh first. All right, so this position here, and I'll show you on both sides, I'm going to plant this leg that's inside of the knee out into what's a, a flexion, abduction, external rotation position, or like a Faber position. All right, and then the opposite leg is going to be extended relative to this side, and I'll tend to bias into internal rotation as I go to the, more to the outer edge of the, the front of the thigh. All right, so I'll show you on this side, this is the leg that I'm rolling on. It's going to be straight and kind of towed in a little bit. Um, then I can also find the uh, inside and the front of the thigh. But I'm using this open right hip to help support me, but it also creates a little bit of a stretch on that side. All right, so that's important. It's not just the pressure that you're putting through the, uh, where the, the roller is, but it's also the other leg and just the position that you're in that make this effective. All right, so we're going to do two minutes, and what I was indicating before about uh, directional preferences, say I have more knee stiffness, I may want to start by the knee and slowly steamroll up towards the hip, and then come back to the knee, slowly steamroll up to the hip. So I'm basically doing repetitions of stroking from knee to hip, and vice versa, if my hip is a little bit tighter, then I may want to start at the hip and slowly steamroll down to the knee as this, if I'm pulling the tissue down. All right, so that's something that's kind of unique to this roller. It's a lot harder to do it on a traditional roller. All right, so after we do the front of the thigh, we're going to go to the outside of the thigh. All right, and we want to explore biasing the front by turning the body more towards the mat and then biasing the back by turning the body up towards the ceiling. All right, so that does two things. One, puts pressure on a different area of the side of the thigh, but it also helps me kind of change my rotation here. So as my body comes forward, I get a different torso twist compared to if I open my body here. I want to plant this leg and not try not to have the knee collapse in, so I'm solid through this hip. So I'm actually working on some hip stability and working on some shoulder stability. All right, so any type of soft tissue work is a movement practice in itself. It's not just about putting pressure down. All right, so about two minutes there. If I find some spots that are really talking to me, I can add a knee flexion and a knee extension at any point. All right, so it's really just explore, see what feels best. If I'm doing something right before a workout, I may want to be a little bit quicker on my movements and do more active kicking if I'm doing this before bed, which I recommend. I'm going to go a bit slower. I'm going to try to stay relaxed. And I'm just going to let the roller kind of sink deep into the tissue and move slowly through it. All right. So I got both sides there. All right. So two minutes on the front of both thighs, two minutes on the outside. And then you know, we're going to look at the calf. All right. So we're going to stack the leg side to side. And if we find any areas of restriction, we're just going back and forth. So the last video I did using the supernova ball, supernova ball or the uh, about six inch in diameter ball, we did a similar movement on the calf. This works really well for it too because it's got these ridges that stick up so you can really go side to side nicely on it and get a transverse friction type of massage. All right, and then you can really hold that down as you're adding some active motion. All right, so. That's mostly what I like to use this for, front of the thigh, outside of the thigh, and back of the leg. All right, so two minutes each spot. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.